But unfortunately, the Menlo Park, California Police Department doesn't seem to like their three Model Y police cars. First, they cite the added cost of outfitting the Model Ys with police upgrades. Okay, so let me look at this. Okay. So wait a minute. Menlo Park Police Department spent $64,270 on their 2022 Long Range Model Y. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you can get a 2024 Long Range Model Y for $47,990. I mean, well, first of all, I think the price has gone down, but also maybe they got some options or paid for full self-driving beta. <laughs> I, I don't think that they did. I don't know. I'm just saying the Model Y should be cheaper than the hybrid Ford Explorer that mm -hmm. they compared it to by $3,600. Okay, let's move on. I guess Ford throws in the ballistic panels and they had to pay $7,500 more for ballistic panels on the Model Y. I guess. But why did it cost $4,500 more for safety outfitting on the Model Y? Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm guessing that Ford throws in some of that stuff into their police version. Okay, so bottom line, Menlo Park claims that it cost them $25,000 more for the Model Y than the Ford. But I mean, Menlo Park bought three Model Ys back in 2022 as patrol cars. So where's the maintenance and the fuel data? Most police departments that we've been talking to have reported savings of thousands of dollars per year in fuel and maintenance. Well, it seems that Menlo Park PD had issues mainly with the interiors. They said the width of duty belts and bulletproof vests do not fit well in the bucket seat and the height of the center console required larger officers to sit at an angle or with their sidearm pinned and inaccessible while in the vehicle. The equipment overhangs the passenger seat, making it nearly unusable. This is not an immediate issue as the current patrol operations do not deploy two officers in every vehicle, but would limit the ability to transport personnel or change operations in the future. In particular, the passenger seat space would not allow training officers to come sit next to a trainee for a 12-hour shift, preventing field training for new officers. The rear seats provide very little room for anyone detained or transported in the back of the car. They went on to say that the following smart features of the Teslas created challenges for patrol operations. The autopilot interference, they said there's a delay when officers shift into drive, and on occasion, the Teslas automatically stop when an officer attempts to pull off to the side of the road to approach vehicles or people. Lighting controls. Wait, 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 wait. wait. There's a delay when officers shift into drive? Yeah, I don't know what they're Is talking about. Is that because about. they didn't buckle their seatbelts? Like, what's the... Uh... Maybe. I, yeah, I don't know what they're talking about there. Um, I don't even know what they're talking about in terms of space. Like, I, I don't know how bulky it is to wear police stuff, but I've got to imagine that either you could do an aftermarket seat or something. Like, that. Take I know out, so many big people console. that drive yeah. Model Ys comfortably, so I don't know. And, and there's other police departments that do it, so I'm really kind of... Exactly. Take out the center console. Um, they go on to say, lighting controls, tablet. Tesla does not allow direct access to the system. Officers need to use a multi-step touchscreen process to follow standard practice to dim their lights upon approach at night. And then lastly, proximity locking, sleep mode, and self-closing doors. The car knows when the key is or is not present within an effective range. The cars will not lock if the key or enabled smartphone are near the vehicles and will conversely lock if the key or smartphone is away from the vehicle, which all seem like good things. I, I really don't know. Menlo Park, by the way, for those not familiar with Northern California, is across the bay from Fremont. So what is Menlo Park PD going to buy instead? Uh, the Menlo Park City Council just approved the purchase of the Chevy Blazer EV for future police vehicles in 2025. And this is where, again, I think Tesla should have a Tesla police car program, just like Ford and Chevy do, so that they can kind of work through these issues if there really are any um, and maybe make a special software and and maybe even special, you know, OK, no center console for certain police departments or whatever. Um, and that way they would have a point of contact. I think the problem is here you just buy a Tesla like any of us do and then you have to outfit it, whereas police departments need special attention. It's a tough balance because I could imagine me saying this uh, years ago because I did say this years ago and I I don't know if I necessarily agree with myself years ago because what did you say years ago? I said that Tesla should make a special police car. Hmm. And I I still want to kind of stand by that because I think that it's a good idea. I just think that it's like, what does Tesla need to focus on right now? That's true. That's and I think that if we're to be like, well, if they want to be one of the traditional uh, automaker guys, then they better have their own police department section of their company that makes special well, police cars. Well, here's the other thing. I think the Cybertruck is the better police car. It is. But also, they don't care. Mm. If, if these police departments want to buy police cars, that's like their prerogative, according to Tesla, because all they care about is making a robo taxi. That's Tesla and Elon's biggest priority right now and selling a you know three police cars to a you know police departments while it would be great i don't think that there's anything bad with that they're already doing it yeah and if menlo park doesn't like theirs whatever 
Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Tuesdays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below and head over to the Now You Know channel.